Hey there, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new subsite on Microsoft SharePoint Online. So to get started, you want to navigate to the parent site that you would like to create your subsite under, and you want to click on the site contents link at the top of your SharePoint site. The site contents is the place to go in SharePoint where you can see all of the different elements that exist on that particular SharePoint site. The next step is to click on the new dropdown here, and then you want to click on subsite. This is going to bring up the new SharePoint site page, and here is where you want to fill out the details of the new subsite you're trying to create. So I'm going to go ahead and call this subsite Project X, the title represents the um, name that will appear at the top of your subsite. You can enter a description if you'd like. I'm just going to leave this blank for now. Um, and then you want to include or fill out your URL name. Uh, generally, you want to keep this as short as possible. So I am just going to call this PRJX for Project X. Okay, and then the next step is to select the site template that you would like to use. So there are some different site templates available out of the box. Um, I am just going to create a team site with no Office 365 group attached to this. Uh, this is just a standard default. Um, and then the next step is to define the permissions. So with respect to permissions, you have two options here. You can choose to use or inherit the same permissions as the parent site. So that means whatever permissions have been configured for the parent site, those will automatically apply to your new subsite. Um, or if you choose unique, use unique permissions, this is going to break that permission inheritance chain and it's going to create uh, a new set of permissions specific to this subsite. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to leave the default use same permissions as parent site. Okay, and then the last settings here correspond to navigation. So you can choose whether you want to display this site on the quick launch bar of the parent site. The quick launch is the navigation that appears on the left hand side of your SharePoint site. Um, and then these last two options just correspond to um, the top link navigation bars. Um, of your SharePoint site. So I'm just going to leave these settings as is, and then I'm going to go ahead and click create. And there you go. You've now created your new subsite. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please drop a comment or like the uh, video below. And if you want to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.